Hello again, I'm Brian Helverson, and welcome to second installment of, I guess, where it all began. So, I introduced this guitar in the first episode. Um, I didn't know where it went to. It turned out my dad had loaned it to uh, an older cousin <clears throat> when he went to college. And so, um, when MTV came along, and I started watching videos every day after school, for as long as possible, I'm seeing, hearing music that's sticking in my head. I'm seeing people playing guitars. <clears throat> I started getting into the kind of 80s metal wave, kind of took me over for a while. And But anyway, I could sit, got the guitar back and I just would sit a chair in front of the television and kind of lay it on my, <clears throat> on my lap and just sort of sound out the notes. And sometimes the guys in the videos were, were actually playing the parts in the right spot on the neck. So I started picking stuff up. I started picking up bass lines. I was taking piano lessons, picking up bass lines off of uh, The Clash, Rock the Casbah, I remember, sent me over to the piano to learn that bass line. So I started translating music that I, that I heard and liked and soaked in and stuck in my head into actually how to, to play that back. Um, so that led me to uh, <clears throat> getting uh, my first electric guitar which I'll bring uh, <clears throat> in a future episode. Um, my first electric guitar, since this is, uh, my dad still owns this, I've never paid him for it, so I'm borrowing it for the, for the, the show here. I didn't tell him or ask him, but <clears throat> um, I got a Charvel and it's a, you know, a shredder guitar or whatever. So I, you know, I did cover bands all through high school and college, and I came back um, to Minneapolis in 1993 and Scott Laurent, who I had uh, known since seventh grade, had you know started writing songs right out of high school and really good songs, like immediately great songwriter. Um, and he had put together a band and they didn't have a lead guitar player and they didn't have anybody singing backup. So I slid right into that. That gave me a reason to leave Southern California and kind of run amok out there. And I uh, came back and, and uh, slid into the the local Minneapolis and St. Paul music scene that was going on at the time and had to get <clears throat> different gear, had to get some uh, tube amps and some, you know, different different stuff to play and, um, but, uh, you know, got that, that was my introduction into original music that a good friend of mine was making and we were making together and, you know, got a deal, made a couple of records and, and so on and so forth. We'll go on with the story more uh, later but um, uh, let's see we'll uh, uh, fast forward to currently um, uh, as I'd mentioned in the first episode the Dixie Dicks is a project I started with Dan Neal um, and uh, we've had a bit of a revolving uh, music musical positions it's hard to, to get a five-piece band to go but we started with uh, Steve Murray next on bass um, and then uh, Got Ken Wilson on pedal steel, and then Pete Anderson was available on Tuesday nights, and so we had a, a shit hot band uh, to start with, and we started at Lee's before they closed down, and, and uh, had, got off to a, a great start doing that, and ever since then we've just been uh, trying to keep it going, and, and whoever can play uh, plays, and uh, now we sort of overlap with some other uh, very talented people. It's a rich music community around here, so there's a uh, a lot of people able to help make good music with us. Um, so uh, I'll play another song here that uh, we do in the, in the Dixie Dicks that uh, I'm pretty fond of. Um, and it's called uh, Hung Up On You. Two, one, two. While I'm down Kentucky bourbon, I am waiting for a call. Stars tonight I play in the shadows on the wall. With the moon the way it is, dear, would you answer out of spite? Or are you feeling lonely tonight? I remember the last time we were out under the stars, driving crooked down. Untrue. 